So if you want to get the Bluetooth device going on your solar, you need to use this Renogy Bluetooth app. And then in order to make that work, you also have to have your location turned on. That's important. And then you go over here to this positive sign and it says, yeah, you got to allow that. And make, so then you got to go up here to where it says add device and look for the one that says BTTH. Select that one, then hit confirm. And now it says it's connecting and we're not done yet. We still don't have any numbers. So we'll go over here to the settings and push read. And you'll see this little Japanese menu pop up. When you go back over to monitoring now, we'll start to see all the numbers uh, populate. Sometimes it takes a minute, and sometimes I have to do that twice. The app can be just a little bit finicky. And if it does fight you, you just try it again and make sure it says that we're on Bluetooth. And there it goes. And now you can see that um, we're drawing 5.76 amps and bringing down 90 watts. Our battery capacity, the voltage is at 14.1 on that charger. And we're, draw, we're bringing in 6.38 amps an hour. Now this is what's cool about the app, this little load switch. It actually turns on the USB ports on the charge controller. And if you have like something plugged in like a light, you can actually remotely control it. Anyways, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.